Hey there everybody, welcome back to the channel. It is time to get back to some barbecue after a long summer of recovery on my foot, but I'm ready to get back to it. Today what I'm gonna do is do a competition style versus Texas style St. Louis spare ribs. Let's get to it. I've wanted to do a competition style versus Texas style cook-off versus let's see which one tastes better and today we're gonna do that. So right here I've got two racks of ribs already trimmed out St. Louis style. Took the membrane off, cut the ends off so there was a rib, small rib on this side, one big rib on this side I took off. Same thing with this one. Uh, the rubs I'm gonna use for the competition style is this Porcosaurus barbecue rub. All the competition flavor, our competition is all about layering our flavors. Um, here's another one. I'm going to use a sweet, what is this? Sweet rub oh mine. I'm going to use a little bit of smoky honey habanero, just a dusting of that for a little hint of some habanero and some Traeger coffee rub. That'll be the first layer of flavor and it will continue throughout, throughout the cook. When we do a wrap, we'll add some more flavor with some butter, some brown sugar, some honey, and I don't know, maybe something else. So let's go ahead and get these ribs all spiced up. We'll do the back first. I'm only gonna do a light dusting of these. Since I've got three different rugs, I'm gonna put on here. First layer was a porcosaurus. Then we're gonna to go to this sweet rub o' mine. A little coffee rub. So we'll rub this all in right here. Press it on in. Let's do the other side now. There we go, we'll press that in just a little bit. And we'll dab the sides. That way we get some flavor everywhere. Okay, for our Texas style, all I'm gonna use is some SPG, salt, pepper, and garlic. The Kinders from Kinders. There we go. Do the meat side now. And there we go, so we have both racks of ribs. We have our Texas style and we have our competition style. We're gonna let this sit for about 15, 20 minutes. Let it sweat out. In the meantime, we're gonna go take care of the grill, get it warmed up and ready to go. I think we're gonna rock today at 275 degrees on the Rectech, so I'll see you in just a minute. All right, so both of these have been setting for about 20 minutes. You can see how they're sweated a little bit. They're ready for the grill. Go ahead and throw these on. Got my water pan in there. This will be our competition. Scrunch those up. And this will be the Texas style. Make sure we scrunch those up. All right, so these are rocking at 275 degrees. Normally I smoke at 225, but today I'm gonna to try something different. We're doing 275, I'm gonna let them go for two hours, not even a look. And from there, we're gonna let the meat determine uh, what our next moves are and not temperature. Uh, we'll, go into, we'll go more into that here in a little bit. So we'll see you in two hours. All right, so it's been two hours. Let's take a look at these ribs. Okay, we got a little bit of color on here. Everything is set nice. Let's 
been two hours at 275. We are going to spritz the Texas style. This spritz is a little bit of bourbon, apple cider vinegar, and maple syrup. And here we had some smoking butter. And on our competition style, we're gonna go ahead and put some butter on here. I know these aren't quite done yet. It's been two hours. We're gonna let these go another hour, uh, but I'll check back in 30 minutes. Spritz the Texas style and put some more butter on the competition style. So I'll check back with you all in about one hour. All right, so we're about the two hour and 45 minute mark. I noticed that when I spritz these and buttered them, they're looking pretty well. See, we already got some good bend on these. I'm not cooking a temperature. This is good time to wrap. So we're gonna bring these inside to wrap. Okay, so for the competition ribs right here, we're going to pack more flavor into them by wrapping them. This is my bourbon apple cider maple syrup spritz. This right here is some Irish whiskey. Uh, what is it? Barbecue sauce Crazy from Crazy Pig. We're just going to put a little bit in here. Sugar. Next thing I'm gonna do, I had smoked some of the butter. We'll put some of the butter in here. A little bit of pure raw honey. And Kim Lady found this. That's a little bit of sriracha honey, so we're gonna put a little tad of that in there. Oops. That comes out kinda of hot, or kinda of fast. And the last thing we're gonna do, oops, there we go. It's a little bit of blue hog sweet and savory. There we go. Cock ribs go meat side down. And then we do the same process on the back side. There we go. We're going to double wrap this. We're going to put that back onto the grill for about another 30 minutes or so. And I'm not cooking to temperature. I'm cooking to the bin test. You can see how flexible that is right now, but we're going to make sure that it is nice and bendy. So meat side down. And this is our standard. Just salt and pepper. All I'm gonna do is add a little bit, or not a little bit, I'm gonna add some butter. Finish off this smoked butter. Just like that. We're not going to add anything else to that. And we'll double wrap this. Okay, so now that both of these are wrapped, I'm going to go ahead and put them on back on the grill. You can do it in the oven if you want to, but the grill's already going at 275. So we'll put these on here until they're about done, or until they're done, and we'll pull them off and get ready to uh, cut them up. But the competition ribs is all about layering flavor. Uh, just continually adding flavor to it and supposed to be a really nice juicy succulent delicious rib I don't cook competition style but I've seen it done many times so we're gonna give it a try I'm curious to see for me what's better Texas style or the competition style so I'm gonna go put these back on the grill and I'll see you when it's ready time when it's ready to cut Okay, so these ribs are done. Total cook time on these were four hours. First two hours at 275, I didn't even open up the lid. 
At starting at the second hour, I went ahead and basted the competition ribs with some smoked butter. And with this was my spritz, my bourbon, maple syrup, and my apple cider vinegar mix. And I did that for uh, every 30 minutes. At the three hour mark, I saw that these needed just a little bit longer, so I let them go for about 20 more minutes. Uh, they didn't hit the bin test. I did not use a temperature on any of these. I was strictly going by feel of the meat. So about that three hour and 20 minute mark, I brought them inside, wrapped them up in foil, which you saw all the ingredients that I put in there. And then I put them back on the smoker for about 30 minutes. So after I unwrapped them, I went ahead and took them out of the foil and I glazed them with some blue hogs, raspberry chipotle mixed with original. That's kind of our favorite mix with these barbecue sauces. I'm telling you, it's really, really good. So they have rested now for about 20 minutes. We're gonna go ahead and cut into them. Let's go ahead and turn these over. That way we can see the bones. We will take right from the middle. This is a competition. Look at that. Great smoke ring. That looks wonderful. Let's go ahead and cut open from the Texas style, right from the middle. There we go. This is just salt, pepper, and some garlic. They did get wrapped for about 40 minutes, 45 minutes, with just a little bit of butter in there. So, let's see which one I like best. We'll go with the competition first. Let's take a taste. Mm. That's a lot of flavor. Sweetness mixed with that habanero, mixed with that honey sriracha. I can taste a little bit of that spice. Nowhere near as spicy as what you might think it would be. That tastes fantastic. Definitely fall off the bone. Take a look at this. Nice fall off the bone. And good texture still on that. Let's go ahead and try the Texas style. That just looks so yummy. Okay, here we go. Mm. That is, that was a little, that bite right there was a little hard to keep it off uh, from coming off the bone. This one actually doesn't have as much texture as that one, believe it or not. Not sure why. Still nice and soft. The taste of salt and pepper and garlic comes through. That's kind of a, that's, it's not so rich. The competition is built for competitions where it's a one bite, right? I don't do competition. I wanted to give it a try to see which one I like. I think right now the competition style tastes fantastic as it is. Anything you put wet brown sugar and some honey on there tastes great, right? But these Texas style ribs, I love these. These are great. The flavor of the rib, the actual pork comes out a lot more with the Texas style ribs. But barbecue is a personal thing. So however you cook, or however you barbecue your ribs, totally and completely up to you. you. If you do competition, I encourage you to go ahead and spice it up. Use whatever your face, favorite spices are, your homemade spices are. Put on whatever sweetness you want and give it a go. This is the first time I've done a barbecue at 275 on the ribs. Normally I'm at 225, cooking around five and a half to six hours. This is actually kind of a pleasure finishing these ribs up at four hours. So who knows, maybe 275 is the cook of the future for my ribs. So with all of that said, to all of our viewers out there, the channel has grown and thank you to everybody out there, all of our new subscribers, we really appreciate you. I promise to start having more videos up here. Finally, I'm getting healed on my foot and I'm a bit more mobile and can do, 
do a lot more things. So look forward to some more cooking videos. So to all our friends and family out there, we love you. To everybody else, peace.